Hello everyone, it's Alia. Welcome back to my channel for another reading. So today we're doing an energy update on your person. What is your person thinking and feeling about you right now? So for those of you that are new to my channel, I do this topic every Monday, Tuesday for some of you, depending on your time zone. So, so yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the reading. I have three parts for you guys to choose from. First, uh, first and foremost, try to center yourself, take a couple deep breaths, ask the universe for guidance, and choose the pile or piles, plural, that you're drawn to. So let's get started. Pile one, we have the clear quartz. Pile two, we have uh, amethyst. And last but not least, pile three, we have citrine. So as I said, when ready, choose the pile or piles you're drawn to and choose intuitively, not just visually. And uh, trust your intuition on this one. And so yeah, let me just zoom in for you guys to, so you can have a better view. All right, please make your selection. Have you chosen pile one group one welcome if you've chosen clear quartz this is your reading i have some oracle cards here that i'm going to be reading towards the end for now let's see what's going on in your person's head space regarding you and the connection so so yeah let me just shuffle this deck person thinking about you and the connection and we're going to clarify these oracle cards as well so the first card we have is transformation which is the death card so um could be uh you could read this in a couple of ways one one meaning is that it means perhaps you guys are disconnected or your connection has ended maybe you've broken up another thing too that just came to mind is that they might think of you as having changed maybe there's something in your energy something that you maybe you've changed you've changed the way you act towards them you change the way um you just you behave around them and they kind of, they're picking up on that so maybe something in you you're no longer doing the same thing as you used to do with them and we have recognition and reward which is this is the three of of um pentacles um i feel like it's i feel like in some in some ways though they do admire you although the three of pentacles is a card of of collaboration and growth of partnerships but here it says recognition and reward it's almost like putting you on a pedestal um Or they have a lot of respect for you I feel and then we, they admire you and then we have this stand your ground so I feel like stand your ground like I feel like perhaps there's something that you're doing group one that is different now because there's a lot of things where something has definitely changed in your connection uh, I know the first thing that I said, maybe you guys are broken up or, but I feel like for the great majority of you, you're not, it's more like the transformation can talk about the way you are right now. Something about you is changing or has changed. Your connection is changing. Maybe you're putting boundaries. Maybe you're no longer taking whatever they, they, they give you, they, they, they throw you away. So there's something that's changed in your energy and guess what? Your person has picked up on it. And they def they're definitely thinking about it. So I don't understand why I get that message, you guys. But it comes sometimes, you know, there's no predicting what comes through. And who is it meant for? Yeah, but I see your, your person, group one, if you find yourself resonating. Your person sees you. There's something is different about you. Let's clarify. Okay, what is transformation about? Seven of Swords. 
could be that you might be running away from them or you could be very elusive uh, or you could be that maybe you're taking care more of yourself. I, I know you guys, this, this is not traditional meaning of the Seven of Swords, but I'm reading this these cards intuitively. So I feel as though something is different about you. Maybe you just, there's more self-love. Maybe you have more self-love. Uh, you have more self-respect. And maybe you're dressing better. You're wearing your hair differently. Something about you is different that's standing out. And they're picking up on that. You know, we all connected. So when somebody changes, when there's an energy shift, we pick up on that. Even the some of us are not very spiritually attuned. It's just instinctive. We just pick up something is different. We can put our finger on it. And what is the reward of, and uh, the recognition of reward about? We have the six of pentacles. Okay. <sighs> I mean, I feel like one thing that they admire about you is your generous spirit. I feel like you're a very abundant person and you're very giving. Somebody, you're also very grounded. And I think that's a part of your, some of your personality, a part of you that your person respects a great deal. And what is Stand Your Ground about? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, of waiting for that harvest. So, so whatever it is that you're standing your ground, maybe you're questioning if you should invest further in this connection or not, or you're waiting for, you want something to grow. And I feel like um, you have more boundaries now and than you did before, okay? Or you're doing something differently, and your person very much think, is thinking about that. Um, they know, I feel like they know you want way more that they're giving you, but they know as well that you're not ready to settle for anything less than you deserve. That's what I'm getting here, guys. This is the message coming through. That you want something great, and you're willing to wait for the right circumstances or the right person. You're not, there's something, like I said, your mind has changed when the sense, perhaps before everything was around your, your person, but now you're looking elsewhere for your happiness as well. You're looking at other possibilities. Let's see, what is your person, uh, what's going on in your heart space regarding you? playfulness it says so the card says it to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i feel like they love spending time with you they love um they just have a great time in your company you might have a lot of things to talk about um it's very playful and we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost Sells to each other, your bond deepens. I, I feel like in their heart space, they want to get to know you more. Yeah, they want to. They feel like maybe there's so much more to you than they that they don't know. They're not. Um, maybe they. And look at this. Look how beautiful. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner. You see. So I feel like maybe now, guys, they're seeing your worth because you've changed things, you know, you're no longer in that needy energy. I mean, for some of you guys, okay? You're no longer like seeking their approval or their attention. Something has changed within you. And guess what? Now they wanna, they wanna get to know you. They wanna see if they wanna invest in this connection, invest in you. And they're thinking you could be that one for them, okay? And this is in their heart space, which is great. And they want to, maybe they want to date you more. They want to spend more time with you. They want to make more time for you. If they were before very elusive, unavailable. And I feel like they want to spend more time with you. And they want to get to know you, the real you. Okay. And um, so it's beautiful. Their heart space is, 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 it looks like here that your person has feelings for you, has romantic feelings for you and want to, 
explore those feelings, want to express those feelings, and uh, want to spend more time with you, which is great. Let's clarify these cards. Okay, see? Cherry clarifying the playfulness, want to take action, want to take action and spend more time, make more time for you. What is getting to know each other? What is it about? They see you as a queen of wands. So regardless of your sun sign, you, whether you're a fire sign or not, they see you as this confident, um, you're the queen of fire, enthusiastic, very independent. Perhaps you become more independent where, like I said, you're not desperately seeking their approval or like you're doing your own thing, you're being who you want, who you are. And it's very attractive for them. It's intoxicating for them. And they find you very attractive. They see you as a queen of wands. So, yeah, they have a lot of passion towards you. What is this? Could be the one. Queen of swords. What's interesting. Queen of swords can talk, can talk about a person. It can describe a person. But it could also describe a situation which usually it would talk about separation and all that. Could be that perhaps you guys were separating. There's one meaning. And maybe in the absence, they realize your worth. And you're thinking maybe you are the person they let slip through their fingers. You could be that. You could be the one for them. And they maybe maybe the separation made them realize that. Maybe, like I said, the Queen of Swords, you you had to put your boundaries. Okay, even if you weren't separated, you just put your boundaries, you were clear on what you wanted, you told them what you wanted, what you expected from the connection, and at the same time, you know, if they weren't going to give you what you wanted, you were about, you know, you were, you were okay to live your own life and, and don't care so much, don't have, you're not wearing your heart on your sleeves here with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you put boundaries and those boundaries made them realize. Maybe, maybe that's why they value you more now than before. I mean, it's sad that sometimes we have to resort to being put in boundaries with someone to recognize our worth, but it is what it is. So let's see, um, let's see, where's this connection heading? Where is this connection heading? This is a possible future. So where is it going? What's coming up, you guys? So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and we have the Two of Cups. Do, do you see this? Do you see this group one? I mean, really, the two of cups. So if you're in separation, whatever is going on between the two of you, there's going to be, um, there's some sort of relationship coming back together. Um, may even lead to a deeper commitment. There's some more appreciation. And I think now for some of you that the separation has done a lot of good for your connection because I feel... You see how the, the cards, there's a progression here on the cards. There's a, an improvement here going from being closed off um, to want to conquer, want to win, want to get you back. So it's almost like your person is going to take some action towards you, group one. Is going to pursue you because they feel in their heart you could be the one. And, um, and it shows here with the two of cups. It could also point to a reconciliation. Uh, just having a better, being closer in case you guys are not in, in separation. This means also just coming together, like having that relationship. Two of Cups is ending the reading is beautiful. It talks about a relationship coming together. So let's look here at the Oracle cards. So the first card we have is that judgment. We have soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. This could be your person doing some soul searching in your absence. Um, yeah, it could be you as well. Maybe you've done a lot of soul searching as well. But the judgment to me is a card also of renewal. Okay, after an ending, after a death, a judgment, which is a renewal, a re, uh, an awakening 
perhaps that something is happening with your person where they see your worth, they awaken to your connection now and uh, they're more willing to spend more time with you and they I feel like they will come towards you and they want to have this two of cups with you. So let's see here. Self-esteem, guardian angel Michael. So just know that keep working on your self-esteem, okay? Don't compromise who you are and you're assisted by your, uh, by your guides, especially your Archangel Michael here. Uh, be confident, know yourself, stay in your power, okay? Know your worth, work on your self-esteem. And then we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Beautiful, right? I mean, I, I can't expect a better card. Expect powerful change. So it looks like a powerful change in your connection, you guys. So good changes coming up in your in your relationship, in your connection. And then we have a new start. It's coming. Oh my goodness. Two cards that suggest a new beginning, uh, a renewal coming up here. And, and the two of cups, this is excellent. You're going to get what you want, okay, in this, you guys. In the meantime, chop wood. This is about, you know, don't neglect, you know, always be busy. Don't be super available to your person, okay? Be busy with your own stuff. Don't lose your identity, who you are in this connection. What makes you more attractive is when you have your own life, you have your own things to do. When you're not waiting for, the, for your person to... To, to complete your life. So attend to your daily routine and all that. It's good for you. And last, the fates. There's an element of destiny to this connection. This is about trusting. This is about having faith that everything, everything will work out. If you're destined to be together, if there's certain things that are destined and there's other things that uh, we have the power to change. For example, what's destined before we're born, we, we choose the kind of life we're going to have, the partners we're going to have, who do we have soul contracts with, who's going to be our spouse, who's going to be our child, who's going to be, at least that's what I believe in, okay? So that's what destiny is. There's certain events that are predetermined because we have already chosen them before we're born. So if you have a soul contract with this person to be someone who is very important in your life, such as a spouse, as someone you're going to spend many years with, then that's what's going to happen if you have a soul contract with this person. So this card calls on you to, to trust the process, whatever will be, will be, and um, let go and let God. This is what this card is all about, the fates. And um, you have to remember, whatever is yours, is yours. No one can take away from you, including what if a relationship, a connection is meant to be, uh, to be yours, if a person is meant to be with you, no one, nothing is going to come in between you guys. So just knowing that alone will give you peace of mind and uh, just to trust the whole process. So I feel though, just for the sake of this reading, things are about to improve. Okay, and I'm, I can't I can't say this for everyone, but for those of you that truly resonate with this reading, things are looking up in this connection. But still, don't lose yourself. Like I said, whatever you've been doing, the transformation here that you've been doing, that you've been acting different and um, differently, and you've been putting boundaries and all that, keep doing what you've been doing because it's working. All right. The moment you start living for your person and you become in that desperate energy, it is a big turn off. So keep doing what you're doing. Trust the process and let your person come to you and work for you because I feel like we value people and things that we have to work for. It is, I know it's, it's illogical sometimes. You think why it has to be that way, but it just is. So it, it's human nature. We always want what we can have. It doesn't matter what century we live in. So, so yeah. But just to, just to end this reading, you guys, things are looking up. So, so yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you really resonated with the reading. If you didn't, uh, choose another group. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like. I mean, if you like the reading, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time. Thank you. Group two, welcome. If you've chosen Amethyst, this is your reading. And I have some oracle cards we're going to look at towards the end. Now, let's see what's going on in your person's head space regarding you and the connection.
Okay, so we have Wisdom, which is the Hierophant's energies. We have the Trapped in Fear. And we have Sacrifice. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that there's a feeling of being trapped in current circumstances here with trapped in fear. Could be that your person is feeling very afraid to get closer to you or is unable to be with you for whatever reason. It's different for everybody. So it uh, could be that very fearful to be with you for whatever reason. Um, or they feel like they can't at this time for whatever reason. It could be career, it could be whatever it is. So there's some restrictions here that's keeping your person away from you right now. And for some of you, it could mean that they have other commitments. Okay, the Hierophant is a card of traditions. So it's somebody who's traditional, who, who's uh, very much into, cares what society thinks, who goes by the society um, societal rules and conventions and all of that. So it could be also your person might be in a relationship for some of you. Um, it could be that maybe there are families as well. Family doesn't approve of your connection. So it could be anything. So it could be you come, you can come from different backgrounds, different faiths, different everything, and which makes it very hard for you guys to be together. Okay. Uh, perhaps society does not approve of your of your connection again for whatever reason. And then we have the sacrifice. For your person to be with you, they have it calls for sacrifice. They have to sacrifice. They have to give up everything they know, and they've held dear to them, to them, whatever that was important to them. They need to sacrifice that. They have to turn their world upside down to be with you, and in this connection. So, like I said, it's gonna be. It's gonna be different for everybody. Okay. So your person has to give up whatever they've known, whatever they're accustomed to. To be with you so to be with you requires a big sacrifice let's try to and maybe the same thing with you too to be with them requires a big sacrifice as well it could be that you as well you're not at liberty to be with them you can you feel restricted for whatever reason you yourself could be in another relationship you yourself could be uh, from a culture where it does not approve of your person so take those messages as they resonate with your situation so let's see Let's clarify this. <clears throat> so we have the the four. So I feel like there's a part of them that just wants to care less and just want to be free and be like this fool where just, you know, just live their life on their own term without a commitment, without anything. Because I feel like they don't no longer want to be committed to whatever they're committed to. They just want to be free. But I feel like they're, they're not able to be free right now. And trapped in fear. The strength, they don't feel strong. They need a lot of courage and strength to come out out of this prison or whatever this prison, whatever this prison represents in their life. They need a lot of strength. I feel like your person is not living their lives for them. They live for other people, for their family, for what society expects of them, that kind of thing. So they need a lot of courage to break free and I feel like at this time, they don't feel brave enough. And what is the sacrifice about? Again, the Hierophant. They have to go against conventions. Whatever they've taught, whatever they believe in, they have to go through and get. Remember, the sacrifice is the hangman, which means seeing things from a whole different perspective, new sets of beliefs. So for your person to be with you, they need courage. They need to set themselves free, live their lives on their own term, and break away from this whatever they've been taught, whatever this uh, rigid, conventional upbringing and beliefs that they may have. 
but it's going to take a lot of courage to break away from that so i feel like a part of them as well the hierophant can talk about a commitment i think part of them wants to be with you wants to give you that commitment but for some reason they're not able to and they need a lot of courage to to be able to be with you and give you that commitment so let's see what's going on in your heart space reconciliation so if you guys have been in separation your person wants to come back together again would love to reconcile we have deception um, so so something here where even though they might want to reconcile they're still wearing a mask they're not able to show their true selves to you or tell you the whole truth of what's going on so maybe they're concealing some things from you not because they want to lie to you they want to deceive you and maybe it's to protect you they don't want to hurt your feelings so there's certain things maybe they're not telling you what's going on you know behind the scenes and we have unrequited love um i feel like maybe for some of you your love is considered taboo and it just came to me right now i just don't download that maybe society does not accept your relationship your love um maybe one of the reasons why they uh, we have unrequited love maybe they think if you know them so well if they remove this mask you're not going to feel the same way you're not going to love them you know so it could be a fear for them because I feel like the biggest thing here is your person has been wearing a mask and they've been wearing a mask maybe the whole time you've been with them you don't know the real them and maybe they do this is because they don't they try to you know uh, protect you in some way even protect you from them okay so I feel like they're afraid if they remove this mask you might not like them you might feel differently yeah that's that's what i'm getting here but there is there's this if you've been in separation group two it's something that they want they want to come back together again and i feel like they want to tell you the truth but they don't have the courage they don't feel brave enough to do so yep let's clarify these cards let's clarify them I'm actually feeling really sad you guys I'm picking up on a really sad energy and this might be your person feeling this way um, <clears throat> sharing it they really want to take action and reconcile come back and start talking to you again um, they want to return back into your life what is this deception about? Nine of Wands. I feel like that's why they kept your arm's length. Nine of Wands is in and out of your life. Uh, it's so different. It's, the energy is so opposite of the Hierophant, which is the Hierophant is all about commitment and all that. And the Knight of Wands is in and out, non-committal. And I feel like the reason why they've been this Knight of Wands uh, they've been in this night of wands energies because they don't want you so close where you really they're gonna have to remove that mask and you really to get to know who they are and what's been going on so I feel like there's a fear maybe that's why they kept you always at arm's length there's a fear of really showing you the real them for whatever reason what is this unrequited love the two of cups yeah so the two of cups is is usually a mutual feeling that's how i come to that's what i associate the two of cups with it's a mutual feeling but i feel that because of the deception card maybe they feel like if you get to know the real them if they show you the real them they remove this mask you might not feel the same way anymore yeah I think that's that's what that's what it comes down to let's see where is this connection heading where is it going this is possible and, uh, future energies guys this is subject to change but let's say if anything if everything stays on course where is this going it's 
So we have again the hangman. So twice here the hangman, which means right now things are not moving. We have the two of cups, okay? And we have the emperor. So I feel here that things are going to improve, okay? So the hangman means something might, might be different, might change as well, because hangman is it's a card of stagnation, but it's also a card of seeing things from a, a different perspective, okay? So it could be maybe somehow, some way, and it can take, I mean, everybody is on a different timeline. Who knows how long it's going to take, but they might be able to free themselves, or maybe there's going to be an opportunity where you guys would be united, will come back together, and with the emperor, it's like maybe more reliable in your life. Maybe your person will be somebody who's going to be more reliable, more consistent, because the, the emperor is solid. You know, it's very, very responsible and consistent. So, yeah, things haven't ended completely. If they have ended, you guys, there's going to be a reconciliation. Okay, you guys are going to come together, even talk to each other again. Communication would be... Uh, re-established that kind of thing and might be more consistent so let's look at the oracle cards here the first card beautiful we have unity a time of divine understanding renewal peace and hope you radiate and attract great love so here unity so it looks like you guys will be united that's what I'm getting from this card then uh, we have the energy is gaining momentum, so things maybe could be changing, could be improving, maybe at a slow pace, but still, nevertheless, it's it's improving, okay? The energies are, maybe there's going to be a shift here, because look at the cards, look where this your connection is heading. We have you and your loved ones are safe, uh, full, uh, new moon in cancer. So we have here that don't be afraid, don't be worried, okay? Know that you're protected, maybe your connection even is is protected is guided okay then we have shame we have divine healers we have shame this is a card of of um, whatever happened there's nothing for you whatever you've done didn't do don't be ashamed don't carry that guilt with you take it as a lesson learned and move forward okay know that you're protected know that you're guided everything is a part of, of your journey and work on your self-esteem self-love okay don't care so much what people think of you, you know, as long as you think well of you, that's all it matters, okay? So work on that. Um, we have happy, happy is also about being the best version of you, okay? Being positive, being um, just living life, being enthusiastic about life, dress better, look better, do whatever it is that makes you feel good, that make, it's going to make you happy, that it's going to make you feel good about yourself. So start taking care of yourself, eat better, exercise, meditate, whatever it is, give yourself the love and attention, okay? You deserve it. Love yourself with all your heart, okay? Fall in love with yourself. That's what you need to do. And whatever you've done or didn't do, there's certain things maybe you don't forgive yourself. It's time to release those, uh, whatever has happened, and take it as lesson learned and move on. Okay? So work on that. And why? This is a card where you don't need to ask, what's the reason for this connection? Why? Why did I have to meet this person? Why did I have to go? Just know it is a reason. It's for a reason. And one day you're going to know what that reason is. Nothing is coincidence. You know, this connection wasn't a waste of time. It, you know, if anything, it's it's going to make you more in touch, brought you more in touch with who you truly are and help you heal some traumas. So don't worry so much about the why. In the future, you're going to be able to look back at this connection and understand the why. Okay, but for now, take care of yourself. Love yourself. Be happy. Um, feel inspired. Go for whatever it is that you want. And um, yeah, don't look back because no one can change the past. Whatever happened, happened. And as far as your person, it's not over. As we have here reconciliation, we have the two of cups here. So it's not over. You're still, this person is, is not out of your life. And here, 
with the Knight of Wands as well, this person is coming back into your life, okay? And hopefully this time they're gonna show you their true selves. And uh, yeah, but more than anything is that the main message you have to take from this uh, group too is that you have to love yourself and take care of yourself. That's number one. And do some work. You pick up a few books on self-transformation as well and uh, become a better version of you. That's all I have for you guys, group two. I hope you resonated. Please like the video if you like the reading, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't resonate, just choose another group. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Group three, welcome. If you've chosen Citrine, this is your reading. And I have some Oracle cards here. For you guys, I'm moving towards the end. Now, let's see what's going on in your person's head space regarding you and the connection. What is your person thinking about you and your connection? So we have triumph and success, ace of swords. We have spiritual strength, um, the hermit. And choose wisely, the five of cups. No, I'm sorry, not the five of cups, the seven of cups. So, very interesting. So what I'm getting here with a triumph and success, maybe the person see you as quite successful, somebody who's very assertive, see you as someone who's very, um, who knows what they want. Um, you could be really straightforward, very blunt, honest. There's no games with you. You could be also spiritually, um, spiritually awakened. You might have, um, You might be very in tune, you know, you might be very wise, that kind of thing here with a spiritual strength. So definitely see you as very strong as well. Choose wisely though, this is a card of options, of not knowing what to do, which way to go as well. It's a decision card. So although it's, it's a card of options, but it's also a card of trying to make it a, uh, some sort of a choice because as you could see right here I don't know if you could see it on camera but he's meditating he's trying to, to do some soul searching to, to decide what to do next which way to go and I feel it could be that that could be uh, regarding you and your connection what should they do should they come towards you should they stay away should they move in a different direction that kind of thing so they might have also other options as well. It's a possibility, but I feel here that maybe they're thinking about what to do next, okay? Let's clarify these cards. Um, let's just all cut them tarot. Okay, what is this? triumph and success we have the world they might see you as somebody who's also very successful who's worldly someone who you know you travel the world you could be uh, maybe due to your job or it could be just someone you know who's kind of worldly successful in life um what is the spiritual strength the fool um I'm trying to see why would the full clarify the okay the full clarifying the hermit that's very interesting um, because the hermit is going in what well, it could be that maybe they were the full originally and maybe because of you now they are trying to go more could be they're trying to find answers that's a, that's another way of looking at it uh, because they're really quite different the fool is just doesn't have a care in the world and the hair of i mean and the hermit on the other hand is very 
introverted, goes in for answers, that kind of thing. So maybe you're forcing them to see things differently. Maybe you're forcing them to grow up um, because you're a lot stronger than they are. And maybe more spiritually in touch, <laughs> more aware than they are. Choose wisely. <laughs> the hermit again. So another one too is that I feel like they are in a hermit mode right now and they're trying to seek answers within them. And maybe like they might they might be scattered as well. The seven of cups is a card of being scattered, not knowing what to do next. So you can have all these different options, different ideas, not knowing what to do. So it could be that because just being around you or having been around you, um, they're kind of forced now to go within and search for answers. They're growing up. Maybe there's some, some growing up is happening here. Maturing is happening here. So, so yeah. Let me see. I'm going to try to calculate something here. Uh, yeah, look, if you add all these, let me see, nine and nine, they cancel each other, seven, one. So if you add all these cards, it's an 11 in numerology, which is a very spiritual number, which is a number as well of, of awakening. So there's something that's happening spiritually with your person and you have brought that energy. You have triggered that awakening for them. You know, they might've been like the fool, like not caring about anything, but twice here, the hermit, they're inside their head a lot. They're trying, they're doing some soul searching and they're doubting everything and they don't know what to do next. They might be even feeling lost right now, but that's a good thing. If they're feeling lost because they're questioning everything they have believed thus far. And eventually, so it's part of the growth. When we feel lost is part of the growth because then we realize, hey, what am I going to do? Who am I? Where am I supposed to go? So all of that is part of the awakening process and it's a very painful uh, journey. Let's see what's going on in their heart space. What's going on in their heart space about you? We have this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And we have retreat. Time to disconnect from the world. So it could be right now they have retreated because twice here the hermit. So chances are it's telling me that they might have retreated from you right now. And they might be getting a lot of signs when it comes to you. All of the cards says red, uh, red flags, which is a negative thing. But to me, I'm seeing it more like getting signs about your connection, asking for signs from the universe about your connection so they can make up their mind. I feel like they really try to search for answers and they don't know if you are the one for them or not, you know, so they're not sure because I feel like your person is very confused right now. They're not clear and they're doubting themselves and maybe that's why they have, they're withdrawn from you. I think what you guys really need the most, you need to sp spend this time alone together. And I think that a lot of you haven't had this quality time together. Um, but I feel like maybe the universe is sending them signs regarding you and the connection. And they're so distracted. They're so, they're not receiving those messages, not yet at least, or they doubt them because they have to, they have to be in tune. And I feel like they still have to do, there's a lot of work to be done. They, they need some, they need to be more awakened because I feel like they doubt it. Uh, I feel like they doubt those signs. They second guess themselves. Let's let's clarify these cards. So what is this could be the one about? Ten of Cups. They think so. They have toyed with the idea. They have thought about you in a relationship way. Maybe having a, that relationship, the family with you, that kind of thing having the Ten of Cups, which is end all, be all kind of thing. So the, the thought has crossed their mind, okay? That maybe you are the one, but at the same time, they're not sure. There's doubt. What is pay attention to the red flags? The tower. 
So something I feel like something might have happened in their life, whatever this towel moment represents, that makes them doubt themselves, doubt the universe, maybe they've lost faith. Um, they feel disconnected. So something might have happened. Maybe they're afraid it's going to be a disaster. They're afraid to let you in and it's going to end up bad, that kind of thing. And that's because that's based on their own past traumas or whatever they've lived through or whatever they've experienced. And what is the retreat card about? Ten of Pentacles. So, so the Ten of Pentacles, both cards here suggest could be families very much involved. Uh, or it could be as well that, you know, you guys have spoken about relationship commitment and the, you know, the long haul. But at the same time, the tower in, in between, there's fear of disaster, there's fear of loss, there's fear of maybe losing their freedom, their, um, they're afraid of commitment. There's also a possibility here with the fool. They want to be free to do whatever they want to do. Because uh, I feel like they're very, maybe the, the whole idea of a commitment just scares the hell out of them, I feel. So, although there's a part of them that wants this family relationship commitment, and there's another part of them that just wants to be free, who's very afraid of that commitment. And, uh, and maybe you've had that serious talk with them, and maybe that's why they have retreated from you. Maybe you've given them an ultimatum. Um, it's either we take things uh, further or it's over kind of thing. So it might have been like they might have presented them with that option. And look what we have bottom deck energy. We have the seven of swords. It looks like your person is still running away from you, group three. So they are divided. Remember, we have the seven of cups here, which is they kind of scattered. They don't know what they want. So let's see, where is this going, group three? Where is this going? Is it going to be any improvement or what? Where is this going? This is possible future, the next a couple of months, anything is subject to change. Where is this going? Okay. So we have the Magician, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Nine of Wands. So I don't feel like the connection is totally over between you guys. I, I do see here somebody has walked away from somebody here with the Eight of Cups. And we did see here with two Hermits, two Hermit cards, which means your person at the moment is uh, withdrawn from you. They're doing some soul searching. I feel like they don't feel very confident here with the Magician. Um, magician is a card of, of um, manifestation, but it's also a card of, you know, just being confident, knowing what you want and go for it and manifest whatever reality you want. But I feel like they're not feeling this way. Uh, I feel like that confidence, whatever, it was a false, it's a false facade. It's, uh, it's, they were charming. They showed you something that they, it wasn't coming from them. It wasn't deep. It was just superficial. If they came across as very charming, confident, uh, it's it's just a facade, yeah? Because I feel like they've walked away from, from that because they needed to do some soul searching. And you might have triggered them to, to grow up and mature and to question their actions, to question themselves and to hold themselves, um, uh, what's the word? Accountable, hold themselves accountable. So I can see here with the Nine of Wands is there's a resistance still here in this connection. But I don't see it over. You have to remember the Knight of Wands is a card of perseverance, despite the, the odds. But also it's a card known as having walls. So I still feel like your person has walls around them. I don't think this connection is over. But it, uh, but I feel like at the same time, right now, it's, it's not going any further. And because your person is withdrawn. It really is up to them as to when they're going to come out of this hermit mode yeah but um so that's what it looks like it could be maybe also they're dealing with some family issues as well here with the ten of 
Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like neither one of you is given up, really given up on the idea of maybe being together one day, that kind of thing. But right now, like I said, there still have walls around you, around your person. There's still work to be done in this connection should you want to pursue this. But I feel like for right now, the energy that I'm getting, like I said, your person is quite withdrawn from you. There's not, they're not really doing any much. You know, it's kind of walked away from you, kind of withdrawn from you, at least for the time being. Let's look at these cards. Uh, we have sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. And I feel like you both are growing from this. And maybe your person is heading towards this sunshine and sunflowers. It's going through it, it this is part of their growth this is a part of this is they have to experience whatever they're experiencing with you that's going to lead them to a better better them a more evolved uh version of themselves and i feel like this is you both benefit this is you're both learning very difficult lessons in this connection then we have we have what do you need to release so there's some shadows, you guys, there's some things you, you guys have to release, whatever that is. Uh, it's different for everybody. It could be uh, limiting beliefs, it could be traumas, whatever you need to release. There's some shadow work that needs to be happening here in this connection. And I feel like you both uh, trigger each other on a very deep level. And you both need, you kind of mirror each other. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Could be like, okay, even though I'm not going by the new moon in Capricorn, I'm just looking at the Capricorn season. Maybe some of you, you might have some changes coming up, maybe some breakthroughs in this connection around December, January, okay? And we have uh, restriction joy guides so this is uh it's saying that you, you could see how this person here this figure here has like a lock a chain a lock around their head which means maybe the narrow uh point of view narrow mindset uh limiting beliefs it's it's telling you to be more open be more open to fresh ideas a different perspective don't be just one track mind this is what this card is all about you know don't be just you believe what you believe in and you refuse to see any of anything else different and i feel like that's what you guys are trying to tell you be more open-minded be more flexible get rid of those limiting beliefs and i feel like this message is for you and your person but since i'm talking to you group three so i feel like it's something you both have to work on yeah and tick tock this is a card of divine timing yes it's difficult right now in this connection but everything is happening everything has its season okay so it's telling you as well and i don't want to give you false hope here but this is a card of divine timing whatever is meant to be will be and you're just going to have to trust in the right time maybe this is something you both have to supposed to experience for a better future who knows right and last i can't even see i'm running out of space here and then last we have go the distance don't be afraid to to live your life on your own terms and uh, go for what, what it is that you want. Keep moving forward, okay? Uh, don't look back. Keep moving forward. So, yeah, I won't say this is dead in the water, this connection, because it doesn't look like it's dead in the water. I just see it as being stagnant right now, um, group three. I just see your person is withdrawn, maybe doing some soul searching. You have to keep in mind the Eight of Cups is also a card of soul searching. And with twice here, the Hermit, definitely your person has a lot to think about. And with the Seven of Cups, again, it, it very distracted to try to find answers. You know, I, I don't feel like... They're just trying to find who they are and through your connection you can you brought that blessing to them you brought the lesson to them and in turn they bring it they have also you have also lessons that you're supposed to master is us being more flexible see things from a different perspective and um, work on your self-esteem as well so you, you both have a lot to learn from this connection you both are assisting each other in mastering these lessons so yeah that's all i have for you guys group three i hope you resonated with the reading if you didn't please choose another group if you like the reading uh, like the video subscribe if you haven't already until next time thank you so much for watching bye